Hi, this is Elise with another packing video for you guys. This is my B Sporty in the Tokidoki print um, Unikiki 2.0. It's a collaboration between Jujubee and Tokidoki, and it just came out very recently. So I'll just show you how it looks on the outside, and then I'll show you how I have it packed up. Um, so the outside has this flap closure, a pocket here, another pocket here, and then two side bottle pockets. And then on the back, it has one long flat pocket that goes all the way to the bottom and that's where the change pad comes when you buy the bag and then on the inside um, of that flap there's another hidden pocket that is felt lined and or fleece lined and it's a tech pocket so you can fit your phone in there I have a, an iPhone 6 plus with a big case and it fits really well in there uh, with room to zip it shut so on the inside, you'll also see two D-rings and a zipper. So the D-rings are um, for a crossbody strap so that you can carry it uh, crossbody or on your shoulder instead of with the backpack straps that are on the back. I haven't tried it that way yet, so if anybody has and they found it comfortable, let me know. And then on the inside, it has just the big kind of long space. You have to kind of plan out what you want the most, I think, with this kind of bag because the things at the bottom are a little bit harder to get to. And then it has one pocket here and then some mesh pockets on the bottom. I'll show you when I pull things out. Uh, first, I'll do the outside. So in this pocket right here, I just keep receipts and coupons because it's um, not very big. And I don't really find it to be very easy to get into. I had been keeping chapstick in there, but I was having a hard time pulling it out. And I think that's probably because I have my wallet inside this pocket. And the wallet fits well, but it, it definitely makes it hard to move my hand around in the pockets. So this is uh, Be Rich in the Black Magic. This is by Jujubee also. So it's a pretty good size. Um, but it's not huge. I have bigger wallets. And then in there, um, you'll see a mesh pocket with an elastic band. I have a pen in that one. And then a zipper pocket. And I just have um, two chapsticks and a lipstick. And then on the bottle pockets, on one side, I have a hand sanitizer and a coin purse in the seam, Unikiki 2.0. This just has hair ties and bobby pins and things, and then just a Baby Gannix hand sanitizer. It's kind of a big one, but I like this kind. Um, nothing else in there. So these are insulated, so they will keep your drinks cold or hot, which is nice. And they're pretty big. I use the Contigo water bottles for my kids, and they fit in there, and I was surprised about that. I also have the Thermos... Um, straw cups and that fits as well and then on this side I don't have anything because I will put my um, son's cup in there so that one's empty and then I'll show you the back so my phone's obviously not in there I'm filming with it and then I have a large set piece in the Unikiki 2.0 and I have the long strap attached to that and it's empty because sometimes I like to just grab my wallet and my phone and my keys and a thing of wipes and just carry this in and out of stores or um, just if I'm going to be running in quickly um, while I'm out and about. And then I have a thing of Lysol wipes and a booty pod and a wipe pouch with just water wipes for hands and face for my kids and nothing else in there but you can see that it goes all the way to the bottom and then I'm um, just moving to the inside I'm gonna tilt it so you guys can see this um, it's kind of shifted around I was playing with how I was packing it in this pocket up here it just goes it's about halfway down I guess it goes I think it goes exactly halfway down I'm um, kind of like the mini bee I have a another coin purse and this has headphones in it then I have a book for my son we just got this I was trying to just kind of go through get him to point out things keep him 
keep him busy when he's starting to get fidgety or fussy in a store or something. So I'm going to bring that when we go out tomorrow. And then I have a medium set piece. Um, cute, right? And then I just have snacks in this one and bib and table toppers. And I have another piece in there. This is a quick in Black Magic. I think this print goes really well with most things. Um, it doesn't go as well with Nautical because of the navy, but it goes really well with this one. So I've just been kind of moving it back and forth. And in here I have diaper knees, and then I have potty covers for my three-year-old. Uh, wet wipes, well, water wipes in a, in a wipe pouch, and just undies and disposable change pads. Um, then I have um, my keys. I just snapped it through the D-ring so that I can lock and unlock my car quickly. That's uh, one of the things that I found about this bag that most Jujube bags have a key leash or um, a key fob somewhere to, to hook your keys and this one doesn't. So that's been working out okay. It's not my favorite, but I don't really want to put it in the pocket because a lot of the time I end up moving the sanitizer inside the bag or inside the pocket in the front so that I can carry both of my kids' cups. It just depends if my daughter is at school or not. Um, and then these are those mesh packet pockets that are at the bottom. Can you see that? One, so here's the middle. There's the crossbody strap that I haven't tried yet. Um, and the one on the back side is just one long pocket. I have a reusable bag in there that folds in on itself. And then I have um, in these two ones in the front, it's split into two, so it's sewn down the middle. I have a small set piece. Um, this just has tampons and stuff in it. And then I have a custom piece. It's one of the med kits with the laminated front. And those fit really well down there. They do um, pack so that the bottom is really full, but it's winter here and I, I live near Boston, so I've been throwing hats and coats and stuff in the top of the bag, so I like to have that space on the top. Um, where I don't normally like to, I kind of like to have everything um, more horizontally packed, I guess. But it's it's been going okay. I just couldn't really pass it up because the placement that I got when I did my blind order through Jujube is just so nice. Um, which is funny because I actually asked for uh, Palette. I just wrote it in the, the comments. I don't even know if they read it or not, but um, I thought I would just try. So I wanted um, Palette and I like the cats. And then um, I did get that on the back and then on the bottle pocket, I think she's peeking through. The cat is here. And then they sent this one. So it's kind of perfect, perfect placement for most, most people. And I love it now that I have it. It's just funny that it's, um, she's not on the front, but right here, super cute. Uh, and then I just wanted to show one more thing, just so people could get a better idea for how much it actually can fit. I have... I didn't today, but I have put my um, A5 size Filofax in there, and then I can still fit everything else. I'll just throw it in just so you guys can see. Um, and so I would st stand that up upright, and then the quick will fit next to it. Those two pieces. I don't know what that they were. piece with the snacks, which is jam packed. This thing probably weighs like five pounds. That can fit. Um, standing up like the quick is now. 
rather than laying down on it, the bottom. And then all the, the same stuff can just kind of go over. But you can see that it does fit, and there's still all this unused space. Um, you know, you could feel a lot more than you could fit a nursing cover or a blanket, you could fit coats. Um, so it's a lot roomier than it seems, although it doesn't have very much uh, flexibility, it doesn't have much give. So if you have any questions or anything else that you'd like to see or you enjoyed the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.